Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to get data from a pop-up menu in a MATLAB GUI. So I'm going to bring up my GUI here, and I've created a pop-up menu from the pop-up menu selection here. And double click on it, I'm going to change the tag. Uh, actually, let me, I guess let me change the tag first. So I'm going to say it's uh, pop-up uh, choice, I'm going to call it. And then here, uh, if you want to have multiple choices, click on this box right here. Go in here, delete everything, and then I'm going to say a couple things. I'm going to say choice one, and I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to say choice two, press enter, and choice three. And I'm going to press OK. And now those are all set, so we don't have to worry about that. So X out, and then here I'm going to press save. And it's going to bring this into my M file that I created. And this is just the initialization part, so don't worry about that. And this is the, uh, the pop-up menu. Uh, that you want to code here. So the first thing we want to do is get the contents of the of the uh, of the pop-up menu as a cell string, and it's a cell string because there's multiple choices. So I'm going to call it contents is equal to cell string. Uh, and I'm going to get the h object, and I'm going to get them as strings. So that's now in contents. So now we want to get whichever one is selected in the contents. So I can say my pop choice. It's my variable. I'm going to call it. As, I'm going to take the contents, and I'm going to in curly brackets now. I'm going to get h object and make the value of the h object. So that's going to return what actually is selected. So and the parentheses and the brackets. And now I'm going to use some if else if statements to return these into uh, into the base workspace over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is. Uh, we're going to use string compare to compare the strings that we have. So you have to remember which uh, what you set in your GUI in here. So I remember I set uh, in here I said choice space one, choice space two, choice space three. So all separated by enters. So when I go in here, I'm going to use string compare, and I'm going to compare the pop choice to the first one I had choice one. Okay. So I'm going to set the pop val if it was chosen to this. I set it equal to one. Else if I'm going to compare it to choice two, this, and I'll set pop val is equal to two like that. And then lastly, uh, I usually just do else if just so I can actually compare it. Pop choice and then choice three like this. I'll set pop val is equal to three here end it and then to see it in the workspace we can assign it into the base workspace and we'll assign it uh, pop val into a variable pop val for consistency I'm going to uh, save that and then if I run this uh, it pops up here and I can select choice one and I see pop val shows a value of one choice two uh, values value of three choice three value of three and uh, the way that you can use these values here is that you can put them into like if else statements in your other uh, in your other callbacks, uh, or you can actually return if you wanted to. You can uh, also assign in this variable here. So pop choice, pop choice. And now if we run this, now you can see that it pops up with the actual string of what is selected. So here it's choice two, and then the pop val is two, and here it'll be choice one and one, choice three and three. So that's how you use a pop-up menu in a MATLAB GUI. Thanks for watching.